A typical behavior during market slowdown is to withdraw your money in cash and avoid launching any project. But when all your competitors also think so, crisis becomes the best time to start projects and seek investments. However, when other assets are falling, you need to craft your offer carefully to persuade investors you are going to succeed. An excellent approach to it is positioning your investment as a different asset class. One uncommon structure to distinguish yourself from everything else on the market is a security token. In this video, we will explain why security tokens are likely the most reliable asset type in the current environment and therefore serve as a great structure to raise capital. My friends, welcome to Stobox Insights, a video series about innovations in capital raising and finance, brought to you by an award-winning consulting and technology company. We assist dozens of clients, raising from less than a million to hundreds of millions of dollars, spanning five continents and eight different industries. On this channel, we share our hard-earned experience and research completely for free, so I highly encourage you to subscribe, turn on notifications, and explore other videos on this channel. Disclaimer. This video is not financial advice. The information we provide on the financial performance of particular assets is solely our personal opinion based on observations and analysis. You need to consult your financial advisors before making any decisions and as they shouldn't be based on this video. It's important to position your offering right because most asset classes will experience significant drop in value. The most obvious victim is cash. It is subject to high inflation and currency devaluation. We can see that in Euro, which is currently falling due to the war in Ukraine. The same fate is expected to meet other currencies as the market turns from a hangover and money printing causes inflation. Therefore, preserving your saving in cash is not a safe option. Corporate bonds are another normally safe asset class frequently invested in, which is in a precarious position. Federal Reserve bought out an enormous amount of corporate bonds, which consequently made this market unsustainable. As the money printing is slowing down and the interest rates are growing, most likely many companies won't be able to pay out an announced default. This is why corporate bonds are not suitable for investing these days. Nearly for the same reason, public equities perform poorly too and will continue falling. Firstly, the whole public market was overheated over the last couple of years, leading to valuation multiples that are too high. Because of this, while the market is turning back to its normal state, their multiples will consequently fall, leading to the decline in share prices. Additionally, companies' revenues are falling too due to inflation and reduction in consumer purchasing power. The markets will most likely continue falling after the publication of quarterly earnings reports. And taking into account growing interest rates, the situation will continue worsening for at least one more year. Corporate bonds and public equities go hand in hand in this case, as corporate defaults will further reduce the stock price, while the company's bad performance increases the probability of default. Lastly, investing in crypto is not the best idea at the moment too, although our logic here is a bit more nuanced than typical. We disagree that crypto is worthless because it isn't backed by actual cash flows or assets. Value of cryptocurrencies is derived from the utility of using these currencies in Web3 solutions and ecosystems. However, Web3 has been mostly focused on financial applications in the last decade. So as the intensity of trading and speculation plummets, so does the value of typical crypto tokens. Moreover, the sad truth is that at this early stage of the market, many tokens had unstable financial models that had zero resilience to bear markets. Their failure further contributed to a general decline. Security tokens are a fantastic asset class as they allow investing in private markets which have received much less investor attention so far. Consequently, they weren't overheated with vast amounts of money, which respectively is why they won't fall so dramatically. 
unlike many crypto tokens, security tokens are connected to the real economy directly. They are backed by real assets like commodities, private equity, private debt, real estate, etc. It is true that even private companies get affected negatively by the crisis. However, provided that security tokens will be newly issued, they won't experience decline as the token price already includes a negative earning for a cost. Despite security tokens being a great asset class, they are still relatively unknown. Therefore, it's vital to frame the features and benefits of the tokens in the right way. An important goal is to distinguish security tokens from other crypto assets. Security tokens behave more like private equity than crypto, which gives them robust fundamentals. Features they inherited from crypto include better liquidity and automation, not an unbalanced economics, so they unite the best of the two worlds. Thus, it's preferable to focus not on the blockchain aspect of tokens, at least initially, but on their economic nature. For instance, you can position convertible debt tokens simply as convertible nodes with enhanced liquidity, which is achieved thanks to being preserved on the blockchain. Rhetoric like this will help you capture investor interest initially and then multiply it by explaining the benefits of enhanced liquidity. It's not only communication strategy that makes a splendid offer to investors. Things like token design, legal structure, as well as a range of other aspects. As a consulting and technology company, Stobox can help you to get it done right. Feel free to book a complimentary 30-minute consultation to understand how we can help you prepare for fundraising in the difficult circumstances of financial crisis and crypto winter, turning the market situation to your advantage. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.